Our most common finishing technique is painting. This is where we use one flat color with solid coverage on a piece. The basic supplies for this technique are paint and an applicator. You can really use any kind of paint for this technique. It can be craft paint, specialty paint, house paint, or our personal favorite, latex paint mixed with BB Froche paint transformer powder. Check out our selection of pre-mixed paints on our website. For the applicator, we most commonly use a foam brush, but in some cases you may want to use a foam roller or a detail brush. We'll talk about when to use each one throughout the video. When working with the brush, I soak some paint into the sponge and remove any excess paint sitting on the surface of the brush by tapping it off on my tray. We find that working in thin, light coats gives us the smoothest finish. Using the chisel tip, I apply the paint to the piece, making sure to not leave any areas of pooled paint. We always personally choose to leave our edges black. Having very little paint on our brush and working lightly with that chisel tip helps us avoid paint spilling onto the side. If any paint does get on the side, quickly wipe it away with your finger. For a more stubborn drip, you can use a wet cotton swab or an alcohol wipe. Don't be worried if you aren't getting full coverage on your inserts or pieces in one coat. We usually do two to three coats depending on the color and the paint that we're using. Just be sure to wait until your paint is fully dried before adding another coat. If you're working in thin light coats, it should only take a few minutes for the paint to dry. You can always speed up the drying process with a heat gun. If you're working with a piece that has engraved lines, you can remove paint from the line and bring back the detail by running a tack through the line. You're going to want to do this while the paint is wet and between each coat. Be sure to clean off the tip of the tack between each line. If you have just one or two small pieces in a color or you want to add specific detail, you can use a detail brush. We have these disposable small and large detail brushes in our shop that are perfect for this. With these brushes, you will want to be extra careful about not having too much paint on your brush. When using the detail brushes, we recommend the larger size for small pieces that are just one color and the smaller size for adding details on something with multiple colors. For inserts, we prefer to use a roller. This is much quicker for these large surfaces and gives us a slightly smoother finish than the brush. To use the roller, we put some paint onto a tray, load up our roller, and then apply the paint to the whole surface of the insert. Keep in mind, we only recommend using the roller on inserts. It's a little too big for the kit pieces. Once the insert is covered, we'll go back over the surface very lightly to remove any lines. Another option for paint is spray paint. This is great if you want to very quickly cover a lot of little pieces or if you want a specialty finish. Make sure to spray paint in a very well ventilated space or outdoors and refer to the information on the spray can. Once your pieces are painted with the paint and applicator that's best for your project, we recommend one more step, sanding. This step is optional, but we find that sanding can really elevate the look and feel of your piece. There are two types of sanding, smoothing and distressing. To smooth the finish, hold a sanding block flat against the surface of your piece and sand lightly. To add distressing and bring out the dimension of your pieces, sand at about a 45 degree angle along the edge. Be sure to use a clean side or block for each color and wipe the pieces with a clean dry cloth to remove the excess dust. With dark colors, you may need to use a very slightly damp cloth to fully remove the dust and bring back the richness of the color. If the color doesn't come back or you remove too much paint while sanding, you can always paint another coat. Once your piece is painted and sanded, you're ready to add it to your pocket frame project. For more ideas on how to finish your pieces, check out our other technique videos on the Learn and Create page of our website.